And here is a live look right now at Lakewood Church after a shooting this afternoon ended with a suspect dead and a child and another man injured. This was the scene this afternoon moments after the shooting, which happened during a Spanish language service and could be heard during a live stream at the opening moments of that service. Junto con diagonal 2024. Repito. New tonight, Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo is asking investigators to see if this may have been a hate related crime because it happened during a Spanish language service. Our team coverage continues tonight from Lakewood Church off the Southwest Freeway near 610. We begin with ABC 13 Shannon Ryan. She was at today's press conference, was at the scene much of the afternoon and has the latest on the investigation. Shannon. Tom, when you think of American mega churches, when you think of evangelism, you think of Pastor Joel Osteen and you think of Lakewood Church. Tens of thousands of people walk through its doors each week. It's been open since 1965 for 65 years. Excuse me. And Pastor Osteen tells us all 65 of those years had been peaceful up until today. <laughs> Anxious families waiting to be reunited with loved ones. Bottlenecked outside evangelical pastor Joel Osteen's Lakewood megachurch. After police say a woman in a trench coat with a long gun and five-year-old child. Opened fire on their Sunday Spanish service. Sending thousands of worshipers like Kayla Jack running for their lives. And then everybody was crazy running. Meanwhile, Ethan Rodriguez was told to stay put. The nine year old hid in a bathroom with his dance class as his teacher barricaded the door and guarded it with a box cutter until police led them hand in hand outside to their families. My, my mom and me were so worried. Police say three people were shot, including the gunwoman killed by a Houston police officer and TABC agent working off duty security. The five-year-old child she was with was also shot and is fighting for their life. At this time, Houston Police Chief Troy Finner says it's unclear if the officers are responsible. That, but I will say this, um, if it was, unfortunately, um, and, and, and that female, that suspect, put that baby in danger, I'm going to put that blame on her. A man in his 50s was also shot in the leg. Pastor Osteen says his church will be praying for all three people involved. No, we don't understand why these things happen, but we know God's in control. Finner said the shooter also claimed she had a bomb and sprayed an unknown substance in the church. So police combed the property for hours, but at this time haven't found anything dangerous. We worship together, we cry together, but we rebuild together. This is a trap. And you, can, and you can see Houston police are still here. Given the nature of the threats that woman made, they told us they want to methodically comb through every inch of that church and make sure she didn't leave anything behind between the threats and the weapon she had. Chief Troy Finner telling us he believes this could have been worse. Live at Lakewood Church, Shannon Ryan, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Shannon, thank you. Also, ABC 13's Giovanni Ligi was one of the first on the scene this afternoon. He spoke with dozens of people who shared with him their experience inside the church. He now joins us live with that part of the story. Giovanni. Well, Tom, really just terrifying moments for so many people and their emotions. You really can't even put them into words. The fear and, and, and anxiety when they first heard those shots ring out. The sounds of gunfire echoing through the halls of this building and the sounds of first responders arriving to the scene all playing out as people barricade themselves in rooms while others say they had to run for their lives. When you hear the gunshots go off, you just look up and you're just trying to not believe that that's what you heard. You, you want to believe that it's something different until you hear the second shots of fires of the shots being going off and then you, you see people running and then you see the fear in people's eyes is when you realize that there's an active shooter um, in inside of the building. Christina Rodriguez said she was in the library on the second floor. I started screaming, there's a shooter, there's a shooter. Then we all ran to the very back side of the library. For hours, we watched as people were escorted from the building. Some churchgoers tell us they thought the sounds were instruments. We were sitting there with my mom and they started shooting. 
and we 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 went scared and then we went to the to the chairs to try to protect us and then everybody was crazy running Others, parents who say their children were at daycare, groups of them brought out by police, some clinging to stuffed animals. I saw all the officers running to the second floor. This man tells us he was in the elevator with his kids during the shooting. I really didn't thought that it, it was uh, somebody who was uh, really using a firearm, uh, maybe, you know, fireworks. But, uh, and then I start uh, watching people running, you know, all around. So. And Tom, you heard it there from some of the people who were inside of the building when the shooting first happened. They spoke about their fear and those moments they say were just terrifying. Reporting from Lakewood Church, Giovanni Ligi, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Giovanni, thank you. Lakewood being one of the largest churches in the country it means there are almost always cameras or cell phones on around every corner. And today's terrifying gunshots were captured from several different areas. Angles. They will likely play a crucial part in the criminal investigation, which is just getting underway tonight. ABC 13's Maya Shea was at the scene all afternoon. She joins us live here in studio with a look at those videos and the law enforcement response. And I think a lot of people are saying, wow, this is so stunning. It could have been worse, so much worse. And one of the main reasons it was not worse was because there, the key, there were two officers who were working off duty in Lakewood, working extra jobs when the shooting began. So they were able to respond very quickly. In fact, you can hear the gunfire back and forth from two pieces of chilling video you've already seen, but we we'll want to play it for you again. The first is Pastor Jorge Basave getting ready for the Spanish service. Watch. Punto com diagonal 2024. Repito. I mean, just chilling. The pastor stayed calm as the gunfire continued before the broadcast quickly dipped out from another angle, which was captured a few seconds later. Watch what happened as a parishioner captured these gunshots. Yeah, these gunshots, uh, you can see people actually running. This happened a few seconds later. And moments after that video was taken, law enforcement from across our region converged and descended upon Lakewood. Houston Police is the lead agency. The police chief, Troy Fenner, says, for now, expect to see increased patrols at many larger places of worship. It's just an opportunity for us to refocus and make sure that we all look out for one another. There will be increased patrols and a lot of conversation in our command posts with our federal partners and our local partners. But we're going to increase those patrols in and around uh, those religious institutions, and it doesn't matter which faith. We love everybody here in our city, and everybody's important. A lot of investigation ongoing at Lakewood. Unclear when Lakewood will reopen as the investigation is just beginning. We still don't yet know a motive, and that is what everyone wants to know. Why did this woman go in there with that small child and open fire? Hopefully we'll get some more information as early as tomorrow, Tom. And as the chief said, it's possible we may never know yeah, the motive. Yeah. Maya, thank you for your reporting tonight. And as she mentioned, we are still in the early stages of of this investigation. We'll continue to follow the story throughout this newscast and again tomorrow. Stay with ABC 13 for the latest updates both on air, online, and wherever you stream.